Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's talk about Red Dead Redemption 2 on Steam Deck Steam OS. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Lenny's Mod Loader. Like the name suggests, this is a mod loader for Red Dead Redemption 2. And you know, some mods require this to be installed in order to install the mod. So it's been requested quite a few times on my channel. So here it is. First thing you need to do, go into your Steam Deck's desktop mode like I have right now here. Okay, and go to this website, rdl2mods.com. I'll leave a link in the description. I'll link it directly to this mod. So just click here, download this file. Okay, and then you've got main files. So let's get the latest version. Click download. Okay, and then five, four, three, two, one. We should be able to download it. Okay, it's downloading right here. Okay, and... Let's download something else also. This is just a mod manager. So let's download something we can test it out on. So here are some example mods. I'm going to download this one. Examples for Lenny's mod manager 1.0.0. The main thing we can check for this one is here. It replaces the default RDL2 font. All right. So this is something we can like install and, you know, we'll, we can know if the mod is working or not. So also here. Download this file. So I'm going to download this example mod. So let's wait for it. Okay, it's downloading. Okay, and one more file we need is this, um, the ASI loader. Okay, we need to load the ASI. That's like loading the mod. Okay, we also need this RDL2 ASI loader 0.2.2. Might be a different version when you're downloading this it might get updated so i'm just going to download the latest version right now so download okay just wait for it to download so i've downloaded three files the lenny's mod loader then i've downloaded a example mod and then asi loader so three zip files okay so go to my dolphin my file manager yeah, I've got the three files right here. Let me just move it. Let me just move it to this folder, RDL2 mods, just for easier. You can just keep it in your downloads folder if you want, but for the tutorial, I'll just put it into a new folder just to make it easier. Okay, so now you also need to locate your game folder. So if you've got this game on Steam, it should be in your home directory. And then make sure you click the three lines here hidden files make sure this is checked we're going into a hidden folder dot steam okay and then steam steam apps and then common and you should see red dead redemption 2 this is the folder the game folder all right rdr2.exe is right here so this is the root of our game folder right so the first thing i'm going to do is open up the lenny's mod loader zip this is the mod files for Lenny's mod loader. Okay. And then inside, okay, you need to extract mod loader, all the contents inside mod loader to the root of your game. Okay. So here's my game, the root of my game, Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm just going to extract these files to the root. Okay. You can see LML. There's a folder called LML and then some DLL files. Okay. So that's done. Okay, and then you've got a mod manager, okay? So you can put this mod manager wherever you want, okay? I'm just going to put it into RDR2 mods, the folder that I created, where I put my mod. So I've got a folder now called mod manager. I extracted mod manager over. Okay. Now, what you've got to do is, for this mod manager, we're going to add a non-Steam game. So open up your Steam. Open up your Steam, click here, add a game, add a non-Steam game, and then click Browse. Okay, it's in my downloads, and then I've got a folder called RDR2 Mods, which I created myself. And then here's the extracted mod manager. Click into it, and then there's a mod manager.ui.exe. This is the exe file we want. Double click it. Add selected programs, and then on the left hand side, you should see it here. Pop populate here modmanager.ui.exe okay click the gear icon properties go into compatibility 
and then here force the use of a specific steam play compatibility tool i'm going to use um proton experimental okay and click play see if we can open up the game or well, not a game well just mod manager it's a program okay so this is lenny's mod loader okay you can select your theme all right i'm just gonna select blue dark okay so game folder we need to locate our game folder so click the three dots here and then i'm going to click the slash then home deck so just locate your game folder again where was it it was in the dot steam so you have to if you can't locate your dot steam here can i type it no you can't oh you can actually just type it here okay so since we can't locate our hidden folders here i think a good idea would be just to copy the location so we've got the the path here right so just copy this path and just paste it here paste done and then click save. All right. So that's done. And then now let's try to install that example mod. All right, here. LML example mod. Okay. Let's, um, a good way to do it. Okay. Let's extract it here. Right click it, extract, and then extract archive here, auto detect subfolder. Okay, so I detected, I made a subfolder here. And here's my mods. Okay, good. Now go back to your mod manager, mod loader, Lenny's mod loader. Go here, where it's got like a download icon. View current and past downloads. Okay, and then click on this plus icon. Okay, and then go to your slash. So I, I put my mod here in my download. So home, deck downloads and then i'm going to go to rdr2 mods and here's the mod file the example mods this is the directory i'm just going to click open and you can see here it installed lml example mods installed okay and then we can just close this all right so if you want to install mods download the mods the zips and then unzip them put them in a folder and then just click this plus icon and you know select your mod folder okay it's installed we can just close this now okay and now let's um let's open up red dead redemption 2 we're not finished right now we need that asi loader remember okay so here select your asi loader dot zip okay you just need this version dot dll this is the like the the hack the, that you know enables the mods so version.dll put this in the root of your game just extract it over here to the root of your red dead redemption game so i've got it here right here version.dll and then on steam go to your game red dead redemption 2 click on the gear icon properties okay you need to have this code in your launch options i'll put that in the link i'll put this code in the link so you don't have to type it out so wine dll overrides equals version that's the version.dll file we're trying to access that kicks the mod okay native built-in command command the percentage command okay so that's what we need and that's it that's done guys so okay let's play it it works on um desktop mode and on gaming mode i'm just demonstrating this on like um desktop mode i just don't want to go on to gaming mode it's the same so once you've done all this you can run the game on gaming mode and it works the same okay it's gonna take a bit because you know this is the official steam version you need to load the rockstar launcher yeah it takes a bit of time so if you like the video so far please leave a like and subscribe to the channel we talk a lot about gaming handhelds especially the steam deck we talk a lot about mods emulation cheats trainers stuff like that and recently we've been doing a lot of fsr3 mods so if you're interested in that please subscribe to this channel okay so let's just wait for rockstar launcher to load up
So if you're interested in modifying your game, RDR2, Lenny's Mod Loader is uh, a very popular like mod that's required. Because a lot of mods require this in order to work. That's why it's been requested a lot on my channel. But um, I don't really do a lot of mods. I'm just using the Rampage Trainer for Red Dead Redemption 2. That's the only thing I'm using right now. But uh, yeah, I just thought I'll try it out. Lenny's Mod Loader. Okay, so I'm booting into the game. So if it works, we should see that the fonts for Red Dead Redemption 2 has changed. Try it out. Okay, so let's go into the story first. This is such a good game. I'm playing it a second time. Like I played the I played it the first time when it came out, and then I played Red Dead Online. Uh, I think over a hundred hours of Red Dead Online, and yeah, now I'm playing the second playthrough of the like campaign the story because it's been quite a while and yeah i'm really enjoying the game the gameplay the story everything is really good about this game one of my best like open world games in my opinion so if you haven't played this game <laughs> you're really missing out if you like you know open world games yeah, this is really good. Like gameplay wise, story, everything. Everything's good about this game. Okay. So now let's press the start button. You can see that. You can see the font. It's different, right? Yeah, it means the, the mod is working. And if I press R and A. Yeah, see, that's the Rampage Trainer I've been telling you about. I could like add infinite money. I can spawn animals, stuff like that. Yeah, that's that's that. But yeah, this is the Lenny's mod loader. And I just um, installed the example mod that changes the font. You can see. Yep, it's working. So that's how you install Lenny's mod loader on Red Dead Redemption 2 for Steam Deck Steam OS. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.